There is no time to waste. We are getting right down to the action live in Bridgeport on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! It is going to be a loaded night of action right here on Raw. In your main event, who is going to be next in line to challenge Dominic Mysterio for the Intercontinental Championship? We find out in this star-studded number one contender's Gauntlet matchup. It's going down right here tonight in the Total Mortgage Arena, live in Bridgeport, Connecticut, right here on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn knows a thing or two about that Intercontinental Championship. He may have fallen short in his pursuit of the gold. Just over a week ago at No Mercy in his hometown of Montreal. But that does not mean his issues with the Judgment Day are done. And as a matter of fact, it was this one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, who threw down the challenge for tonight after an upset from Sami Zayn a number of weeks ago. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from Bray County with Long Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the world. We'll take you back to two weeks ago, right here on Raw. Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor. Similar tonight in your opening bout. The Prince was in control, but as you can see, Zayn catching one half of the tag team champion slipping inside cradle, stole the victory right out from under Finn's nose. Well, Balor, of course, alongside Damian Priest, went on to retain their World Tag Team Championships at no mercy just over a week ago in the tables, ladders, and chairs matchup. Therefore, banishing Jay and Jimmy Uso from Monday Night Raw. Well, the Judgment Day may have taken care of their Uso problem, but Finn Balor wants to get even with Sami Zayn after that victory a few weeks ago. That is what brings us to your opening bout, live tonight in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And, you know, Sami Zayn had his eyes on Dirty Dominic Mysterio in that Intercontinental Championship. We saw the trilogy matchup back at No Mercy, an incredible bout, and... Unfortunately, we have to give the devil his due. Dirty Dominic Mysterio successful on that night in impressive fashion. Sami Zayn's pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship may have come to a screeching halt, but now finding himself one-on-one -on -one with one half of the tag team champions does another window of opportunity open for Sami Zayn here tonight. All remains to be seen as we are underway in a hurry here on Monday Night Raw. So much action to get to tonight. Of course, the layover from Queen of the Ring in Madison Square Garden this past Saturday. Certainly going to be felt all throughout tonight here on Raw. Meanwhile, Sami Zayn revving up the engines in the early going. You should expect nothing less. Zayn understands that Finn Balor is under the impression that Zayn stole the victory from the Prince a few weeks ago. Zayn looking to ensure an emphatic W here tonight in Bridgeport. Finn Balor, on the other hand, calling out Sami Zayn for this matchup. Was not going to allow Sami Zayn to think he had one up on the Judgment Day. Who, at least in the men's side of that group, have been very successful as of late. Rhea Ripley, of course, caught between Cora Jade and Bianca Belair this past Saturday at Queen of the Ring and was the casualty in the triple threat matchup. Rhea Ripley's pursuit of getting back the women's championship unfortunately going to have to be on hold as she looks to rebuild in the near future here on Raw. All the while, Balor is looking to take out Sami Zayn once and for all. Sami Zayn has had his issues with the Judgment Day for months here on the Red Brand as Balor takes things over the top of the corkscrew. Sami Zayn losing that Intercontinental Championship all the way back in the month of July to Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Balor, and Priest certainly were X-Factors in that matchup. Zayn has not forgotten and continues to find himself across the squared circle from Judgment Day representatives. And right now, Finn Balor has completely taken over the matchup, or maybe we spoke too soon. 
Never count out Sami Zayn. Many times throughout his career known to be the underdog. Springboard Tornado DDT finally executed. Down goes the Prince. And only a one count that time, but you gotta believe the eggs might be scrambled for one half of the tag team champions. And there's an exploder suplex for good measures. If Sami Zayn could go two for two against Finn Balor. Well, you gotta believe Zayn and whoever he chooses may be eyeing up a tag team championship opportunity. Balor looking to even the score with Sami Zayn tonight. All the while, Damian Priest, you remember, just last week on Raw, called out the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns for a meeting next week at the season premiere. Hopefully we get news on that contest here tonight. All the while, Sami Zayn taking things to the outside. Tornado DDT, tope style, right through the ropes, down at ringside here in the Total, total Mortgage Arena. Ridgeport coming unglued as Sami Zayn may have this match secured. Or maybe not, Finn Balor not even allowing the confidence boost to come off a one count being delivered. Balor, I'm sure, Rewatched the matchup from several weeks ago and trying to find his misstep. Doing his homework all to ensure that Sami Zayn does not continue to have that leg over the Judgment Day. Balor able to su survive some great offense by Sami Zayn thus far. Balor now trying to issue that ground and pound. We're gonna talk about confidence boost. I'm sure the Judgment Day, especially Finn Balor and Damian Priest, are feeling sky high after eradicating the Usos from Monday Night Raw. Jay and Jimmy no longer welcomed here on the red brand thanks to the actions of Balor and Priest in the tables, ladders, and chairs matchup. Now Finn Balor looks to put Sami Zayn in the rear view mirror. Sami Zayn struggling to get back into this matchup. There's a nice reversal that time. Nothing pretty about it. An uppercut right to the jawline. Balor back inside the ring. Try to create some distance momentarily. Not allow a comeback from Zayn. Zayn may have a forceful comeback here at Bridgeport tonight. Nice overhand shot. Finn Balor may be in trouble. Saido back suplex. And Zayn is starting to come unglued. As we briefly mentioned, Damian Priest calling out Roman Reigns last week on Raw, taking care of the Usos at no mercy, defeated Solo Sokoa several weeks ago. All remains to be seen if the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns will be here in Chicago at the season premiere of Raw live next week. Questions we remain answers to as Finn Balor looks just to take care of his problem tonight. What a reversal by the Prince. Looked as if Sami Zayn wanted a blue thunder. Balor with the reversal. And now sends Zayn into the corner like a bullet. And a near fall that time. One half of the World Tag Team Champions in Finn Balor thought this match was over. But Balor could be looking for the exclamation point. Could be looking for the grand finale. The coup de grace. Zayn to his feet. Balor crash and burn. Zayn now from behind, he pinned Dominic Mysterio earlier this month with this same pinfall. Back and forth they go. And Balor once again looking to stop any sort of comeback by, by Sami Zayn before it can truly get going. Sami Zayn might not allow Finn Balor to have his way as another back suplex. I'll tell you what, Finn Balor might have had a lot taken out of him off that crash and burn a few moments ago. Looked to be heading to the top for the coup de gras. Zayn got to his feet, elected for the drop kick, and it was no good. And now, blue thunder bomb by Sami Zayn into the cover. Who's to say the blue thunder ain't a finish? Another huge victory. Oh, wait a minute. Sami Zayn going two for two against Finn Balor, but I hear the praise of what Damian Priest looming in the distance. The other half of the world tag team champions ambushing Sami Zayn from behind.
The Judgment Day always come in numbers. Oh, well, Sami Zayn making sure he made the trip to Bridgeport with a little bit of backup himself. Here comes Kevin Owens. Owens, who reprised for the first time at no mercy, standing in the corner of his best friend, Sami Zayn. And Owens getting physical here tonight on Raw. Well, Damian Priest started the fight, attacking Sami Zayn from behind. Kevin Owens didn't start it, but I think he damn well may finish it. Sending Priest to the outside here as a brawl has broken out here on Monday Night Raw. And here's Owens over the top. Sami Zayn with another victory over one half of the tag team champions. Damian Priest not looking to allow a celebration, but all he did was awaken the monster within Kevin Owens. Owens gonna make sure Damian Priest ruse the day that he ever put his hands on his best friend. Owens showing up to Bridgeport tonight, looking for a fight. Last year, 16 of WWE's best cruiserweights clashed in an eight-week tournament to decide who stood above the rest at 205 pounds and under. This year, we do it all over again. Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern time, kicking off on September the 29th, 16 men representing SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling will participate in the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. With the field more wide open than ever before, who will scratch and claw their way to greatness and be crowned the winner of the historic Cruiserweight Classic? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at Bridgeport, and the brawl has continued throughout the commercial break. Damian Priest, Kevin Owens, going all throughout the WWE Universe, slinging fist, left and right. Something's got to give between these two gentlemen. I don't know, the locker room may need to clear to get them apart. Someone's gonna get hurt out there. Kevin Owens coming out here moments ago to even the playing field when Damian Priest ambushed Sami Zayn after his victory over Finn Balor. And it has led to this. Well, certainly a treat for the people who sold out Total Mortgage Arena tonight. Live from Bridgeport, Connecticut. This is Monday Night Raw and Kevin Owens and Damian Priest are looking to beat the living hell out of each other. All throughout the concrete, all throughout the arena. I do not like this for these two superstars as Damian Priest is starting to look worse for wear. Kevin Owens just cleaned his clock. What did we say a few moments ago before the break? Kevin Owens didn't start the fight, but he just may finish it. We were supposed to come back and plug some Cruiserweight Classic news. Damian Priest and Kevin Owens, however, not going by the script. Oh no, not on the concrete floor surrounded by steel chairs as well. Damian Priest, much to the chagrin of this Bridgeport audience, now beaten down on one prize fighter. You know, Kevin Owens has not been in action since August at SummerSlam. This is the first time he's really getting physical in quite some time here on the Monday Night Raw. Certainly could have imagined a much more uniform performance. However, Damian Priest and Kevin Owens electing for the chaos here tonight. Priest out of the concrete floor. Oh no, Owens getting near that equipment box. Kevin Owens flying like a cruiserweight in the classic. Well, speaking of the such, let's get back on script here. The Cruiserweight Classic, as we know, kicks off this Sunday, 12 noon Eastern, right here on the Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But stay tuned this Wednesday as the 16-man bracket featuring superstars from SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling will be revealed. The CWC kicks off live this Sunday. 
Already a chaotic night here on Monday Night Raw, as quite frankly it usually is. We are back inside Total Mortgage Arena, and Chelsea Green, who cannot be happy about the six-woman tag team loss just days ago in Madison Square Garden, signed, sealed, and set to be delivered in action right here, right now. The EST Bianca Belair was within inches once again of leaving Madison Square Garden as the women's champion. There you see taken out Rhea Ripley in the closing moments with a KOD, but Cora Jade, second month in a row, right place, right time, taking Bianca out of the equation and making the most of her handiwork. Cora Jade retaining the WWE Women's Championship in a triple threat matchup where many thought she was the underdog, caught between a rock and a hard place this past Saturday night in those hallowed halls. Bianca Belair, however, back to the drawing board, itching for competition tonight, looking to get herself back in number one contendership. Here she goes back inside the ring, 1v1 against Chelsea Green. But both these women looking to bounce back after their losses at the Queen of the Ring this past Saturday as we look forward to the Cruiserweight Classic kickoff, which is coming this Sunday at 12 noon Eastern time. And we're gonna get a little preview of the CWC this Wednesday on Velocity. Two NXT representatives who will be participating in the Cruiserweight Classic, Dragon Lee and Noam Dar, set to go one-on-one -on, -one on Velocity. That is coming your way this Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. You can scan the QR code on your screen right now. Be sure to hit the follow and don't miss a moment of the action when Dragon Lee and Noam Dar lock horns Wednesday on Velocity. And here we go with Bianca Belair and Chelsea Green. Chelsea can't yeah, Bianca hot. And the EST, I'm sure, is in no mood to play games tonight. Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, and Sonya Deville, of course, involved in that six-woman tag team matchup. Where they fell short to Bailey, Becky Lynch, and a returning Charlotte Flair this past Saturday at the Queen of the Ring. Meanwhile, you saw what happened to Bianca Belair. And you keep in mind what Bianca went through last month at SummerSlam, defeating Rhea Ripley, winning the championship, holding it in her hands for just a few moments before Cora Jade arrived on the scene and cashed in her money in the bank on a weakened EST. That was just last week here on Raw that Bianca Belair pinned Cora Jade in non-title action. And then you see where things ended up at Queen of the Ring. Bianca has got to be itching. She's got to be feeling like she is the rightful WWE Women's Champion right now. But Cora Jade continues to find herself in a lucky spot. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Cora Jade not breaking any rules. Simply just being in the right place at the right time. Bianca Belair going to do what she does best, get back inside the ring, scratch and claw her way to the promised land. And if it starts with a matchup against Chelsea Green tonight, then so be it. Charlotte Flair, as we mentioned, returning to the WWE this past Saturday night at the Queen of the Ring. Another surprise was an NXT standout, Lyra Valkyria answered an open challenge by one Mi Chin. Lyra Valkyria is here tonight in Total, Total Mortgage Arena, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Alba Fire, the Unholy Union. Stacked night of action here on Raw as we discuss Fire Valkyria one-on-one -on -one later tonight here in Bridgeport. Bianca Belair just chucking Chelsea Green to the outside moments ago. Unfortunately, it was unable to follow up and now back inside the ring she is getting hit with a canadian destroyer and that was almost it chelsea green nearing victory but bianca belair still in this fight gotta imagine bianca is not feeling anywhere near 100 percent tonight that was put through the announce table this past saturday by cora jade and a physical battle with Rhea Ripley involved as well. But as we mentioned, Bianca gonna do what she does best. Chelsea Green still alive. Bianca has not earned the nicknames of being one of the roughest, toughest, dare I say baddest son of a bitches here on Monday Night Raw. For no reason. 
Bianca looking to prove her worth all over again. The mean start at the back of the line. And she will go through this entire, entire division, excuse us, to get what she wants. And that is the WWE Women's title that she has so desired for months here on the red brand. Chelsea Green knocking Bianca Belair to the outside momentarily, but I don't think she had enough left in the tank to really capitalize. Both these women look at fatigue. Chelsea Green's hand getting slapped away. You don't want to piss off the EST KOD by Bianca Belair. I think Piper Niven exposed that corner once again. Bianca's dragging Chelsea Green's lifeless body away from the ropes. Bianca to the cover. Ron Zapata, man in the zebra stripes. Turn your ass around. We got a pinfall. Luckily for Bianca, Chelsea Green is seeing stars. Back to the drawing board goes the EST. And she starts out on the right foot with a victory here on Raw. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Nomination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. Click the join button down below with the link up in the cards to become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Punch your ticket for Saturday night, October the 12th, as well as Saturday night, October the 26th for these exclusive Halloween Havoc events. Of course, access to upcoming as well as previous events when you join today. Halloween Havoc approaching, book ending the month of October. And brand new feature for No Nation Gaming channel members, kickoff events for our monthly PLEs. And it all begins at Bad Blood, Saturday night, October the 19th, an exclusive contest, as well as an in-depth look at the entire event. Bad Blood kickoff, Halloween Havoc, all coming your way for No Nation Gaming channel members. We want to switch gears because as originally advertised, a massive No Mercy rematch on hand here in Bridgeport tonight. The authors of Pain, Aikman and Rezar, set to battle the Wolf Dogs, Braun Breaker, as well as Baron Corbin. The interesting thing here is nobody has seen Baron Corbin all day. Luckily for Braun Breaker, however, he took to social media and stated that he's been in contact with Corbin all day long and has continued to have travel issues getting to the arena here in Bridgeport. Braun Breaker went on to say he has a feeling that Karrion Cross and his crew have something to do about it. Against Baron's wishes, I will meet the AOP in that ring tonight alone. Direct quote from Mr. Money in the Bank. I do not agree with Braun Breaker's decision. But nonetheless, who is going to stop that unpredictable badass known as Mr. Money in the Bank, Braun Breaker? Whether Baron Corbin's travel issues have anything to do with the actions of the AOP, Karrion Cross, the mastermind Paul Ellering, or that wicked witch Scarlet, Braun Breaker finds himself with his back against the wall, and he's going to do what he always does, continue to fight. Well, you saw Braun Breaker's post on X moments ago. He said against Baron Corbin's wishes, he comes out here tonight. Baron Corbin, who's been in contact with Braun Breaker all day, obviously does not want Breaker to throw himself to the Wolves tonight in Aikam and Razor. The Wolf Dogs were victorious in the tag team matchup just over a week ago at No Mercy. The AOP threw out the challenge for a rematch, 
and it seemed as if it came with a plan to try to divide and conquer. Rom Breaker, maybe more guts than brains in this situation, but Mr. Money in the Bank gonna do what he always does, get inside that ring and try to cut in half whoever stands across from him. Unfortunately for Mr. Money in the Bank, he does not have Baron Corbin helping him in this fight tonight. Akum and Rezar, you gotta believe, are in some mood. Hot off the heels of No Mercy a week and change ago. A physical tag team war between the Wolf Dogs and the AOP. And granted, it was anybody's ball game, but in the back half of that matchup, Corbin and Breaker really starting to take over. Braun Breaker cutting these two men in half and securing the victory for the Wolf Dogs. And as we talked about last week and as we stated moments ago, it seemed as if this challenge for a rematch came with a mindset, came with a game plan to divide and conquer Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin. Two men who have had their issues with carrying cross, and I'm sure we're hoping to settle those, but now the AOP continue to stand in Braun Breaker's way. Nonetheless, from a tag team out to a handicap affair, Baron Corbin may have travel issues that many of us will probably pin on the final testament's actions, but nonetheless, it is Aikman Razor inside the ring tonight, and it's Braun Breaker standing alone here in Bridgeport. No matter what happens on the other side of this matchup, I think one thing is a guarantee. Braun Breaker is in for a fight. The bell has sounded. Braun doing what he does best. High out of the gate. Explosive as all hell as he starts off this handicap matchup against Akum. This is going to be the interesting thing. As this match progresses, Braun Breaker 1v2 against these physical specimens, these monsters, and Akum and Razor. And unfortunately, no Baron Corbin to tag out to and catch some R&R. &R. Breaker's going to have to try to do what he can to extend his energy throughout this contest, but that is easier said than done when you're in there with the Authors of Pain. Akum just pick it up where they left off just over a week ago in Montreal. Corner to corner. And Akum doing what Braun Breaker's going to be unable to do tonight, making the tag, and here comes Razor. Mr. Money in the Bank. All the guts in the world. But I don't know if this was a smart decision, as we are already seeing the numbers of this handicap match come to the AOP's favor. But there's Braun Breaker fighting out from enemy territory. Ron Breaker just wants to get his hands on the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross once and for all. Somebody who has ambushed Breaker, laid him out in the ring and in the aisleway, in the backstage area, bloodied Mr. Money in the Bank. Ron Breaker wants to settle that score, but I don't know if these two soldiers in AOP are going to allow it. Ron, as you saw, turned his attention to Aikum and it comes back to haunt him. Now Razor going for the early pinfall here. Regardless if it's a handicap match, tag team one-on-one, -on -one, and it's gonna take more to keep down Braun Breaker. But how much does Braun have in the tank tonight? With Braun winning that Money in the Bank contract all the way back in July, but has really been unable to focus on even having the opportunity to cash it in because he's been dealing with these issues with Akum, Razor, and of course the mastermind himself carrying Cross. Ron was hoping he was going to settle these scores, but as we are seeing right now, it looks like doom and gloom for Mr. Money in the Bank, set over the top rope like a ragdoll. Aikum and Razor keeping each other fresh. Braun Breaker trying to do anything he can to get back inside the ring. Ron heading to the top. Oh, able to create some distance here. Down goes Razor momentarily. Take nothing away from Braun Breaker. Mr. Money in the Bank in the spot he is from being tough as nails and getting the victory where it mattered most. It's the man who owns pinfalls over the likes of the Rated R Superstar Edge, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Solo Sokoa, Karrion Cross, even. 
The list goes on. Breaker has had himself a hell of a 2024, whether it was over on SmackDown or during his time on Monday Night Raw. The AOP could just be the latest victims to the dog who is looking to bite tonight. Braun continuing to swing. Amazing agility shown. Frankensteiner. And only a one count that time. He got to give ups to Mr. Money in the Bank. The certified, unpredictable, badass known as Braun Breaker. Many would have walked away with their tail tucked between their legs, knowing they weren't going to have their partner by their side. But no matter what the AOP and Cross pulled to ensure that Baron Corbin would not be in the building tonight, Braun Breaker is here to fight nonetheless. And there's a spear to Razor! Into the cover! Unfortunately, it'll not be enough. Razor getting the shoulder up. And unfortunately, Braun Breaker may have just shown his best hand. The AOP. Certainly, Razor going to be feeling the effects of that maneuver, but the fight lives on nonetheless. Breaker back into enemy territory. Not where he wants to be. The AOP. Look at our right. One final chapter. Down goes Braun Breaker. Into the cover. And it seemed academic from there. The AOP. Here are your winners. Just running over Braun Breaker in this handicap matchup. Wherever Baron Corbin is stuck at tonight, I'm sure he had eyes on this, and he cannot be happy about what just transpired. Well, big ups to Braun Breaker nonetheless. And, oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute, Carry Cross is here at ringside, and he's making a beeline for Braun Breaker. Braun wiped out by Akam and Razor moments ago, and now the Harbinger of Doom is looking to rub salt in the wounds. A familiar sight, whether it's been in the ring, at ringside, the IOA, or just two weeks ago when Cross bloodied Braun Breaker in the backstage area, Cross continues to beat down Braun when he least expect it. Well, there's Braun Breaker trying to fight back with anything he's got left in the tank. Wiped out with that final chapter moments ago. We got a brawl here at ringside in the total mortgage arena. Breaker once again knocked down by Karrion Cross. Oh no. Cross with his eyes on the announce table. Braun trying to do his best to defend himself, but obviously has still got the win knocked out of him from that final chapter. Braun hoisted on the table. Karrion Cross with devilish intentions. Sending Braun right through the announce table. The Harbinger of Doom will stop at nothing for the destruction of one Mr. Money in the Bank. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Well, as we discussed earlier tonight, it was this past Saturday in Madison Square Garden. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, and Sonya Deville looking to settle the animosity with Bailey, Becky Lynch, and their surprise tag team partner, the returning Queen Charlotte Flair in the midst of this six-woman tag team matchup. Flair entering a WWE ring for the first time in over two years, and what a battle it was from bell to bell. 
The animosity between Piper and company, Bailey and Becky, has gone on damn near all summer long, and it met a conclusion this past Saturday night at the Queen of the Ring. Bailey and Becky victorious with a little assistance from Charlotte Flair, and we can confirm that in two weeks' time, right here on Monday Night Raw, the Queen herself, Charlotte, returns to the red brand and will be in action. After a shocking return this past Saturday night, what is next for the Queen here on Monday Night Raw? And also, as we found out, this past Saturday, the newest signee, to Monday Night Raw arrives on the scene Monday night, October the 21st from the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana. A storm is coming. Jade Cargill arrives on Raw next month. A noteworthy night this past Saturday in New York City. The return of Charlotte Flair, the signing of one Jade Cargill, and of course the emergence of the woman who accepted Mi Chin's open challenge. A former NXT Women's Champion, a standout from the black and gold brand. And certainly a familiar battle cry that sings arena from arena. Lyra Valkyria picking up a huge win this past Saturday night. And we now welcome her to Monday Night Raw. And from Dublin, Ireland, Lyra Valkyria. It was really an impromptu open challenge that was issued by Mi Chin earlier in the afternoon on Saturday. Lyra Valkyria, as well as many women from NXT in the building for such a monumental night this past Saturday in Madison Square Garden. Once that open challenge was issued, first person to sign the contract and take advantage of it was the former NXT Women's Champion, Lyra Valkyria, making the most of the opportunity. And after that victory on Saturday, she now finds herself an official member of the Monday Night Raw roster. I'll tell you what, the women's division here on the red brand continues to grow. Charlotte Flair returning. Lyra Valkyria joining the fray. Jade Cargill on her way next month in New Orleans. And I'll tell you some familiar faces. And Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. I'm sure not looking to be stepping stones for all of this talent making their way through the red locker room door. Lyra Valkyria taking the fight to Alba Fire off the opening bell. Alba Fire knows a thing or two about being a champion, former NXT United Kingdom champion. As a matter of fact, held that championship for over two years. Lyra Valkyria looking to make a name for herself here on Monday Night Raw. It seems as if those battle cries, well known from arena to arena, Lyra Valkyria certainly making a presence felt in NXT, but can she do the same here on Monday nights? Not if Alba Fire's got anything to say about it. Unloading on Valkyria right after Lyra's opening fury. Of course, the X Factor and Isla Dawn looming at ringside. Numbers in the Unholy Union's favor tonight on Raw. Oh no, maybe a short trip to Bridgeport for Lyra Valkyria. And our Raw debut may be going up in smoke. Not just yet. Impressive maneuver by Alba Fire, nonetheless. Once again, Arona reminds you to hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards. Become a Nomination Gaming Channel member. Don't miss out on the exclusive Halloween Havoc live events on October 12th as well as the 26th. And as we know, Saturday night, October 19th, Bad Blood going to be coming your way live. But the party's going to start a little bit early with the Bad Blood kickoff show exclusively for Nomination Gaming Channel members. Don't want to miss out on any of that exclusive action. Hit join down below as Lyra Valkyria taking out the fire below on the canvas. And now out of the ring, the Ravens going skyward. <laughs> Crash and a burn. Alba Fire could not see that coming. Now back inside the ring, Valkyria just trying to get back into this matchup with a series of strikes. 
the fire taken over right now. Lyra Valkyria clearly put together a blueprint tonight. Amazing spin kick right to the jawline. Unfortunately, no three count to be had. Just as Valkyria is looking to build some momentum for herself and continue to capitalize on opportunities here on Monday Night Raw, so are Fire and Dawn. Fire with the inside cradle. Damn near almost stole the victory. May not have gotten the three count, but she may have gotten the momentum back on her side. Shrieking at the eyes that time, away from the referee's vantage point. Clearly Alba Fire not afraid to get her hands a little dirty. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes to regain some momentum. And clearly that's what Fire is looking to do tonight as Valkyria just collapses to the canvas off the double knees. Alba looking to bring this thing to a close. Amazing counter by Lyra Valkyria. And now Fire finds herself in a similar position to meet Shin this past Saturday night. Lyra Valkyria with a victory. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Lyra Valkyria, two for two thus far. Meet Jin on Saturday. Alba Fire here on Monday. Here is your winner, Lyra Valkyria. That former NXT Women's Champion proving that she is going to be a problem for the Raw Women's Division. We shift our focus to next Monday night as we head to the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the season premiere edition of Monday Night Raw. This past Saturday, the center of the universe, Tiffany Stratton securing herself as the 2024 Queen of the Ring winner. And on her road to Survivor Series this November, she's been challenged to a Queen of the Ring rematch one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. These two women battle next week. And last week here on Raw, it was anarchy in the closing moments. CM Punk with a victory over the OC's machine gun Carl Anderson, then confronted by the new WWE champion AJ Styles. And things just broke down from there as the OC, LA Knight, and CM Punk continue to swing fists until Monday Night Raw went off the air. But you gotta wonder who will challenge AJ Styles for the WWE title. We will find out next week as CM Punk returns to Chicago and goes one-on-one -on -one with the megastar, LA Knight. The winner of this matchup meets Styles on the 19th of October at Bad Blood. And we can confirm that it is challenge accepted. Live next week, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, will be in action here on Raw. The Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, looking to clean sweep the bloodline. Does he get his wish? Can he topple the Chief next week at the season premiere of Raw? After no mercy is shown, and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood! It is time to determine the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. And it very well may be this man, the A-list superstar, The Miz, who took the most advantage of the issues looming between Dirty Dom and Solo Sokoa last week here on Raw. A slight distraction by the street champ ended up aiding The Miz and getting him back in the win column for the first time in some time here on Raw. Well, everybody knows the rules of the gauntlet. Two men start. Once we get a decision, another man makes their way down the aisle. Last man standing after all six men have entered will be the winner and will move on to challenge Dirty Dom for the Intercontinental Championship live next week at the season premiere of Raw.
The Miz unfortunately drawing the unlucky spot of number one. And his opposer, certainly not somebody who he would probably choose to stand in the ring with. And unfortunately, this is not the first time we are seeing one Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross here this evening in Bridgeport. As Cross makes his way down the aisle, we rewind the clock to what happened just a bit ago here on Raw. Braun Breaker unsuccessful in the handicap matchup against Aikam and Razor. And then just to make matters worse, Karrion Cross putting Braun Breaker right through the announce table. The Harbinger of Doom has been hell-bent on the destruction and the demise of Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker for months here on Monday Night Raw. And after ensuring Corbin would not be in the building tonight, sticking the AOP on Mr. Money in the Bank, and then adding some salt in the wounds himself, Karrion Cross may have finally gotten his wish. And I'll tell you, this night could go from good to great for one Harbinger of Doom. And he can outlast this gauntlet and become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. We told you at the top of the hour it was going to be an action-packed night here on Monday Night Raw. Seven days for, before what is going to be an all-star season premiere edition of the Red Brand. We main event with six superstars from Raw competing for one golden opportunity. The Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, the A-list superstar of The Miz, your first two combatants in this number one contender's gauntlet match. All remains to be seen who waits behind the curtain to try to take advantage of the man who survives your opening bout. But here we go. Main event time in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Bell has sounded. We are underway in Karrion Cross. He's already got his juices flowing. After that assault on Braun Breaker earlier tonight, high out of the gate on the A-list superstar, The Miz. Well, the Miz has got to be riding a high after breaking quite a losing streak last week on Monday Night Raw, thanks to the aid of Solo Sokoa, but I don't think the street champ is going to be so kind to help The Miz in victory if they so meet in this gauntlet contest tonight. Miz knows all about the Intercontinental Championship, would love to get back to the promised land. Showed last week, even by hook or by crook, he's got what it takes to keep down the member of the Judgment Day in Dirty Dom. Unfortunately for the Miz, he is kicking off this matchup with a very destructive Harbinger of Doom carrying cross. And up until now, things were not going the way of the A-list superstar. But The Miz going to start swinging and start to unload as Karrion Cross heads to the outside. Oh, man, look at Miz. A little bit uncharacteristic, but will to do what he's got to do. Axe hammer from the top. If Miz is going to go outside of the box, well, you best believe he's going to do it. This is a man who spent a couple of months here on Raw fighting with Shinsuke Nakamura, finally was able to break out from those issues last week and somehow was able to make the most of it. If you think The Miz is just going to lie down and be a stepping stone for carrying Cross, he got another thing coming. Cross sent back inside the ring and The Miz has got to find a way to keep down this very destructive harbinger of doom. Well, just walked in to a... Waiting arms and a Death Valley driver for his troubles. Smart by Miz to try to take his own momentum and roll to the outside, but Cross is right there to ensure Miz is going to find his destination on the canvas. Darian Cross already getting his wish, picking apart Braun Breaker tonight. With the actions of Aikam and Razar, his recent right hand men, adding some insult to injury after the fact putting Braun Breakers already her body through the announce table. And Miz is probably going to be laying right next to him. Doomsday Saito, but Miz not allowing the doom and gloom to take over his participation in the gauntlet just yet. Takeover by Cross. And not letting up just yet. Make it a dose. Surviving, yes. Thriving, different story. Miz has got to keep his eyes wide open and find that window of opportunity. 
Or else Karrion Cross may be coasting to the first victory of the gauntlet matchup. Oh no, starting to unload. And this is what The Miz cannot afford. Cannot allow Karrion Cross to get his hands dirty. Start breaking things down to a bar fight in the middle of Bridgeport. Nothing the referee can do, all between the rules. The Miz has just got to try to withstand whatever Cross is going to bring to the table here. Even if it means folding up Miz like an accordion. Karrion Cross. Certainly soaking in the pageantry of his own dirty work. We better not take the Miz lightly here. He better stay on the A-list superstar. And there he goes again. Power bomb. The Miz may have been a victor last week, but he is looking far from it here tonight on Raw. Dragging that lifeless carcass to the middle of the squared circle and carrying cross. Looking to close the book on the A-list superstar. Miz going for a ride. Oh, wait a minute. Reversal by The Miz. Well, Karrion Cross better not discount his opponent. Knee right to the face. Miz looking for a comeback. Almost stole the victory. Not just yet. And he's got his eyes locked on Cross. A great effort by The Miz here. Could be going for a figure four leg lock. Maybe not. Cross not allowing it. And now it's got The Miz all kinds of tied up. Unfortunately, that may be the final prayer The Miz had in this matchup. It's over. The Miz heads back to the showers. And now business will pick up the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. The first man to advance. But now he runs in to the big Aussie, Big Bronson Reed. Well, Bronson Reed has had many interactions with the former WWE Champion CM Punk throughout the summer. Now he kicks off his fall season, possibly being rewarded a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Karrion Cross now has really got a problem. Bronson Reed been on a tear of his own no matter the result inside of that ring ever since his royal return back in the month of March. Cross finding out why. On the shoulders could be doomsday for the man himself. My goodness! That might be the biggest doomsday Saito I have ever seen. Unfortunately for Cross, Brunson Reed is still alive. To have the muscle and the strength at the already competed in a matchup to muscle Big Brunson Reed over and bring him crashing down on the canvas speaks volumes. Reed just struggling to get to his feet after coming in fresh as a daisy a few moments ago. And there's a Saeed of his own. Reed saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Monstrous Lariat. Now the big Aussie heading to the top, dropping a knee right on Cross. That'll certainly take the wind out of you. Reed with his eyes locked, carrying Cross, maybe going for a ride. The Harbinger of Doom may be out cold. He is. That's gonna be a W for Big Brunson Reed. And now we move on. Entrance number four, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Harry Cross was on his way to a career night, but Big Brunson Reed playing spoiler. Now Nakamura enters the gauntlet matchup and Brunson Reed running his tail. Nakamura, last time he was in action was just a few weeks ago at WWE Live. Picking up a victory over the A-list superstar in The Miz. No disqualifications bout on that night. Now Nakamura looking to keep his momentum high, but Brunson Reed not giving Nakamura a moment to breathe. Oh no, get Nakamura's body off the floor. You're probably gonna need a shovel to do it. 
Bronson Reed did not come to Bridgeport tonight to play games. He has not given Nakamura a moment to breathe. Bronson Reed desperate for this Intercontinental Championship opportunity next week in Chicago. Got Nakamura by the throat and ranked on him at ringside. Shinsuke Nakamura, I am sure, is not expecting this aggression out of the big man. But every man fighting for the same golden prize, one-on-one -on -one with the Judgment Day's Dirty Dominic Mysterio, live next week for the Intercontinental Championship. Down goes Nakamura at ringside, squashed like a bug. Shinsuke has not gotten one offensive maneuver in, and Bronson Reed may be coasting to his next contest. Not just yet, Nakamura kicks out. Shinsuke Nakamura certainly surprised by the big man tonight, and there's a reversal. And Reed just shoving him off, and Nakamura takes him down. Bronson Reed may be knocked down. It's a whole other thing to keep him there. Nakamura may be about to suffer the same fate as Karrion Cross. Did you see the way his head snapped on the ground? And it's not over yet. Shinsuke gets the shoulder off. Man, oh man, Bronson Reed ever aggressive. Nakamura showing survival instincts. Well, no matter what, Bridgeport is rallying around the big Aussie. Shinsuke Nakamura barely to his feet. Reed, oh my goodness. From one side of the ring, damn near to the other. That's the biggest elbow drop I've ever seen. Bronson Reed just cleaned the clock of Shinsuke Nakamura. And business continues to rev up. Two victories straight for the big Aussie. And now he runs in to the street champ, Solo Sikoa. Well, here we go. This is going to be a heavyweight matchup everybody in this arena wants to see. Solo Sokoa looking to neutralize Bronson Reed and not allow what just happened to Shinsuke Nakamura happen to him. That is an impressive feat by Reed, not allowing Nakamura to get damn near almost any offense. Now Solo Sokoa, as we mentioned, not looking to have that same story written out. Trying to take the fight to Bronson Reed, who has expended a lot of energy over the last couple of minutes. Street Champ has got his own issues with the Judgment Day dating back to the summer. And certainly Dirty Dom, but Bronson Reed may be on his way to the closing moments of this match, not just yet. Solo and Reed just throwing some live rounds at each other. As you saw earlier, Solo Sokoa costing Dirty Dominic Mysterio his matchup against The Miz last week. His looming issues Predate all the way back to the month of May where Dom defeated Solo in a King of the Ring first round matchup via countout. A lot of history between those two gentlemen and of course their two units. Solo Sokoa. Down he goes, getting caught by Reed again. And almost another casualty by the big Aussie, but the street champ still in it. And what a gauntlet matchup this has been here on Monday Night Raw. All these men duking it out to see who battles Dominic Mysterio live next week for the Intercontinental Championship. Reed going to the outside. Solo did his homework. Crash and burn. Damn near Tsunami taking over Bridgeport. Well, Solo saw what just happened to Nakamura a few minutes ago, not looking to see that same fate happen to him. Reed set to the corner. Solo revving up the engines. And you remember what awaits for whoever wins this matchup. The final participant will be the monster, Braun Strowman. 
Spinning solo. Reed still in it. And whatever these two guys got left, whoever is standing on the other side of the bell, they are going to be in for a fight coming up next. Off the counter, Bronson Reed looking to steal. Another victory, not just yet. Solo might have caught him. Somehow in spike. Is Bronson Reed and his performance coming to an end? It is. An incredible performance by Big Brunson Reed, but we are in the end game of this gauntlet matchup now. Solo Sokoa awaits the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Just last week, Strowman victorious against the Nigerian giant Omos. Can he go back to back here on Raw? Solo knocking down Braun momentarily. Better not get overzealous, or Braun may catch him just like that. Down he goes into the corner. A fresh Braun Strowman against a solo Sokoa, who was just throwing live rounds with a big Aussie Brunson Reed for a few minutes. Dare I say the favorite may be the monster of all monsters. Braun Strowman. Talked about that victory over Omos last week. Two weeks removed as well from victory over Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Braun has been very successful since his Monday Night Raw return last month. Will that continue into becoming the number one contender for the Intercontinental title? Oh, wow. Braun going high. Strowman going low. Nobody got the best of it. Solo now takes the rug out from underneath his feet. Reversal by Braun. Reversal by Solo. Back and forth we go. No pinfall to be had. Man, oh man, Solo now gets the best of Braun. The street champ, hungry for a singles opportunity here on Monday Night Raw. Solo's been a part of the red brand since joining the main roster in March of 2023. Has had opportunities in the past, but has not sniffed a singles championship yet. Will next week be his opportunity? Or will Braun Strowman be the victor that eventually gets the spoils? Solo on the shoulder. Down he goes, forcefully, by the monster. Solo Sokoa still alive. Braun Strowman throwing, throwing one of his strongest shots he got in, a, in his arsenal, excuse me. But Solo continues to fight, maybe not for long, as his head just bounced off the canvas. Braun Strowman realizing that Solo Sokoa still got something left in the tank and he's gonna have to continue to stack this offense. Oh, what the hell is this? Braun Strowman scaling the ropes, looking to drop the hammer. Solo sidestepped it. Braun Strowman damn near tearing an ACL. Luckily, he is still on his feet and sends Solo Sokoa down off the suplex. And if that doesn't show you that Braun Strowman wants his opportunity, I don't know what will. Back inside the ring we go. Solo Sokoa trying to shake off the cobwebs. Might have gotten caught. Running power slam. This one's over. Braun Strowman into the cover. Or maybe not. Solo Sokoa still in it. Solo showing how desperate he wants to get his hands on Dirty Dom. Braun Strowman may be in the driver's seat or not for long. Solo chopping the big man down the size momentarily. Another shot right to the jugular. Trying to soften up the monster for that Samoan spike. Same maneuver that put away Brunson Reed just a few minutes ago. Solo starting a rally here in the Total Mortgage Arena, live on Monday Night Raw. Braun Strowman set into the ropes. Fatigue may be starting to set in for the monster as well. Physical battle with Solo over the last few minutes. 
Munson Reed knocked down momentarily. I should say Braun Strowman knocked down momentarily. Now Solo Sokoa heads to the top. Look out below. Flying headbutt. Will that do it? No. Dead center of the ring. Braun Strowman forcefully muscling his shoulder off the canvas. But Solo appears to be confident, and Braun Strowman appears to be fatigued. Down goes the monster once more. That headbutt didn't do it. But maybe a spinning Solo will. Braun Strowman appears to be taking a nap, but woke up just in time. Man, oh man, these two men throwing everything they got at each other. Braun creating some distance, trying to use his body as a weapon. Solo goes after those tree trunk sized legs. He's got him. Samoan Spike. That's one way to neutralize the monster. Solo is on his way to Chicago next week. The street champ has been itching to get his hands on Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And after outlasting the gauntlet, Solo Sokoa gets his wish. We are live at 5 p.m. Eastern next Monday night from Chicago, Illinois for the season premiere edition of Monday Night Raw.